Greetings, everyone. My name is Sanjeev Venkatram, and welcome to another edition of User Delight with Microsoft Technology. In this case, we'll be talking about creating executive summaries in Power BI, and let us head on over to Power BI to look at more. Thank you very much. So we are on powerbi.com and in a report. The view you're looking at is an exec summary that focuses on a, a header that gives you a snapshot in one view of the overall performance of the business unit, a set of buttons and related visuals that give you a walkthrough of performance by step, and then the summary box down below that calls out the asks and actions needed from the exec. The advantage of laying out the exec summary this way is that it focuses the exec's attention to the actions and avoids distraction. Well, let's see how we construct this going forward. So how do we build this? Well, if I get into Power BI right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this report and let's actually create this together. I'm gonna go open up a new tab here, right? And I'm gonna call this exec summary. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually copy a few charts. So I'm gonna copy this chart, Control C, and I'm gonna actually put it here. Kindly note that you would have already got a few charts in your detailed report. So essentially what you're doing is just copying and pasting from your detailed report over to the exec summary, right? So I copied one over, I already have a summary. I thought I'd copy it from here for now. So I've got my uh, one uh, chart here. I'm gonna go grab a couple more. I'm gonna grab may maybe the variance to budget. So I'm gonna click this, Control C, go to the summary, paste it here like so. And the key here is that you actually paste these charts right on top of each other. So if I were to go to this chart and go to the um, paintbrush over here, the, the formatting panel, and go to the general properties and to the properties here, I verify that the height and width of each of these charts are all the same. And then when I go to position, that they're exactly in the same place horizontally and vertically, okay? So we've got two of these here. What I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna go to view here and I'm in the online version of Power BI, powerbi.com, and then I have built my data model there. We'll get to that shortly as to where I've built it, but I've built that in Fabric and I'm, I've created a report from the online version, not from the desktop, even though it is the same exact thing in the desktop as well, okay? So I go up to view and I open up the selections pane and the bookmarks pane, right? And I'm gonna minimize the data here. Now, once I open up the selection pane, I actually see the charts here. I see the VTB by month and I actually see an icon that shows that this visual is visible. I double click this, I rename this as uh, CHRT chart underscore VTB. That is, you know, for now. And then I go to, or you know, you, you, can, you can leave it the same way because it actually renames the chart, but it's up to you, right? For now, just to identify this, I'm gonna call it chart. Then I'm gonna actually go hide this. And voila, the chart is actually hidden. Now I go to the next one, rename this as CHRT underscore trend, right? So I've got my two charts over here, right? So I'm gonna hide this, and now you see that there is no chart um, in front of us. I'm gonna unhide it just for reference purposes. Then I'm gonna go over to the tab here that gives me my bookmarks. You see there are icons here, left, right, so on and so forth, and I actually see a blank uh, button, right? So I'm gonna actually click on a blank button. I'm gonna actually move this button down like so over here, and like so, uh, make it a little bigger, and then I'm gonna go to the formatting properties of this button, open up the style and here turn on the text and then say revenue and share and make that a bit bigger, perhaps uh, 14, 15 font, whatever. And I'm just gonna correct the spelling here. And I'm gonna actually make the font color white. Let us say it's completely up to you as to what you wanna do. Um, go to the fill make that, let us say, a blue, reduce the transparency, right? So I've got my button here. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna go over to general and maybe go to FX, uh, effects here and turn on the shadow, whatever, you know. 
These are all things that you could do to beautify these buttons. Uh, obviously, the crisper they are, the easier it is for your execs to see and get past uh, these sort of things, right? So in the selection here, it comes through as a button. So I'm gonna basically call it btn underscore rev and share, right? Rev and share. And I'm gonna copy this guy down, control C, control V, pull this down here like so. And I'm gonna actually go rename this one. I'm gonna move this up, sorry. I'm gonna take the second button, rename this as button VTB, vari variance to budget, right? Variance to budget. And then I'm gonna go again to the style here and rename this as budget variance, budget variance. And then, you know, I could, you know, how do you say, align it to the left, add about a uh, 20, 20 maybe uh, padding here, do the same thing for the other one, align it to the left, pad it a little bit, right, like so. So I've got my buttons here and I've got my charts here. What I then do, what I then do is I'm gonna click on this chart here, the chart VTB by month, and I'm gonna actually add a bookmark. So I'm gonna say bookmark add, and then I'm gonna say BM underscore uh, CHRT VTB, right? So this is a chart VTB chart. And then I'm gonna click on this VTB button here and in the format section of this, I'm gonna go down to action, turn it on, open it, go to the type, select bookmark, and in the bookmark, select BM underscore chart underscore VTB, right? And then I'm gonna leave that there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and then, so my first bookmark is done, right? So I'm gonna actually hide this now and I'm gonna unhide the second chart. And likewise, I'm gonna then go over to this BTN button revenue share here, right? Revenue share, I'm done with the second button, I go to the revenue share button, turn on the action here, open this, go to my, uh, well, I haven't bookmarked it yet, right? So let me actually click on this chart. Let me click on this chart. I'm gonna add a bookmark and call this bookmark underscore revenue and share and share right and then once i do that i click on this button back the revenue share button turn on the actions open it go to the type here to a bookmark and then select the bookmark revenue and share and then close this uh, format button i'm going to actually go to view and turn off my bookmarks and selection panel right so let's test it I'm gonna actually hold the control button down and click on budget variance and lo and behold, I see this. Click back on revenue or share, I get this back, right? So, and then the rest is very straightforward. If I go back to my summary here, this is how I've created all these buttons, be it either sales and share, budget variance, subsidiary sales, revenue by products, so on and so forth. And then I logically arrange this based on my talk track. I add a text box over here, down below, based on what I want to talk uh, about. Then I have my slicers on the right-hand side. So basically these slicers, uh, if I were to go back to visualization, are essentially these guys. So I can bring these slicers over to the right, like so. And what I could do is add data to them. As an example, I go add, let us say, the uh, subsidiaries over here, like so, so on and so forth. So you add more stuff that you can actually slice and dice by if need be. And down below you add your summary and then the rest on the top be it either the um, who you are, your image maybe, and then like the um, icon or the logo of the organization, so on and so forth to make this report crisp. And once you're done with this, you can literally go over to Power BI and then you can actually add a, a tab here and then add a Power BI like so. Very simple to actually do. I trust this gives you an idea as to how to make your exec reports very crisp. Uh, lead with uh, bookmarks so that you can be precise instead of throwing something like this down here, um, something like this where the executive gets confused and where they start clicking and get into trouble and so on and so forth. Instead of doing stuff like that, being very pointed to exactly what you want to uh, get out of the meeting in terms of actions, click the bookmarks, go through your actions and 
and convey your message and get into the asks. I trust this actually gives you a, a detailed view of how to do exec reporting. Um, kindly let me know uh, in the comments as to um, what you've seen and if this uh, is uh, something that you would like to do and you've seen something better and um, happy learning. Uh, thank you very much and be very, very kind. As you know, doing this takes a bit of time, so it'd be very, very kind if you could uh, support me here and perhaps subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, folks.